Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I don't believe I'm walking through the ruins of the first ever city. Because I'm not. That's in Iraq, which is miles away. And fucking dangerous. But the remains of it look pretty much like this. So you'd never know I wasn't actually there if I wasn't telling you now by accident. I just unlocked this hood outfit for Link and I saw some dude online say to try dyeing it white because apparently it gives you this certain type of power or something. So I'm gonna go try it out. Hello sir, I would like one white hood please. Oh, and you can paint the rest too. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see what all the fuss is about. Gears of the Kingdom Pro Tips Out of all the vehicles you can build in this game, there is one that is better than all others. This is the air bike. It consists of only two fans and a steering stick and is the best way to get around. It can go forwards faster than a powered glider can, while at the same time having way better controllability, allowing you to even fly almost straight up if you need to reach some higher places. To build it, take out the devices on some flat ground, place the fans facing downwards and then attach the stick to the first fan like this so it's standing up. Then attach the second fan like this and make sure the entire thing is perfectly straight and in line. Otherwise the airbike will drift, and I'm not talking about Joy-Con drift. Then remember to favorite the bike in the auto build so you don't have to build it again and you can go off to explore Hyrule in the best way possible. However, there are actually two other hidden uses the airbike has, so you better follow to find out what they are in the next video. Did you know you can get Princess Zelda as a companion in Tears of the Kingdom? Here's how. First you gotta finish the entire main storyline of the game, as well as complete every single shrine. Then what you have to do gets a little unusual. Find this tree in the lost woods and climb on top of it. Drop a single silent princess flower onto it before stepping back and shooting it with your bow. The flower should then disappear and at this point you turn off your switch. Then all you have to do is download the mod that replaces Riju with Zelda. Tricked ya? But for more real TOTK tips and memes, don't forget to follow. Pairs of the Kingdom advice I wish I knew before playing? Spoiler free. Within the first hour of the game you're gonna find one of the new Zonai devices, the Winx. This thing is amazing and can take you much further, much faster than the paraglider can, all without using any stamina. However, I first struggled with actually getting it to launch. There are these rails that sometimes you can use, but they're definitely not everywhere, so here's what I do. Place the wings on a ledge in front of you. Use the ultra hand ability to lift it up and in front of you off the ledge. Hold it there for a second and then move it back on the floor in front of you. Now step on it and use the recall ability on the glider to reverse time until you're up in the air and then cancel it. And there you go. Now you know how to quickly explore all of the new Hyrule without having to do it on foot. But don't forget to subscribe for more. Tears of the Kingdom Players IQ Ranking IQ 80 Combined Harvester IQ 120 Gorilla IQ 160 Hot Wheel The Evolution of Zelda Warfare Level 1 Medieval Level 2 Moving Gun Level 99 Armored Tank Level 420 Prison Tank
Starting up Tears of the Kingdom and notice this right away. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda's the girl? Explain this, Hylians.